My name is Dr. Michi Fu. I'm core faculty, associate professor of the clinical PhD program. I get to work here at CSPP, and I feel very lucky because I also get to have a couple other hats out in the community. I'm a program director at a community mental health clinic called the Asian Pacific Family Center. It's part of Pacific Clinics, which is probably the hugest nonprofit west of the Mississippi. And one of the things that I'm most proud of is I get to put into action the things that I learned here. As a community psychologist, I'm responsible for administering an intensive mental health program that serves all Asian children in Los Angeles County. It's a really amazing thing to be able to say that because there are so many different languages in the Asian culture, there's a lot of subgroups, and there's a lot of within-group people that don't really get along. So that means that I have to link children who need to see a therapist with someone that speaks their language even if they live two area codes away. Now if you're from LA, you know that's a really big deal. Most people don't want to travel anything other than 20 minutes away. Um, the services that we provide are field-based and they're intensive, so that means that we go to the schools and we advocate on behalf of the children. I won the Division 45 of American Psychological Association's Emerging Professional Award for Service. So the Society of Ethnic Minority Issues normally looks at emerging professionals, and usually the award goes to a researcher. Well, this year they decided that the project that my agency has been involved with. It was so unique that they had to create a new award. So it's the Early Career Professional Award for service. I truly believe that this award would not have been possible except for being from a program such as this. I think as an alum of a community psychology program, I was taught that you're supposed to do a product that matters and that's easily applicable and it's something that the public can readily gain benefits from. Um, so that means that I don't do research that's just theoretical, but I do something very applied. I was actually very flattered. A colleague of mine told me, this has never been done before in the whole nation, and people need to know about this unique program model. Um, he actually garnered the support of several mentors and wrote letters of support. Um, actually, the very first year, they couldn't grant it to me at all. So the first time I was nominated, they said, I'm sorry, we generally only give this award to researchers. And so my letter writers felt so strongly about this unique program that they actually resubmitted the packet and said, you need to think about creating an award that recognizes people who do service, unique service that serves our populations. So I'm proud to say that I was able to be the recipient of the first year of this award.